Okay, kitties are eating. Evidently, they're done. Because Sophie has moved in. Sadie had a few bites. She's done. Lily's over there. She gouged the heck out of my leg when she decided to run and jump and whatnot. She's come back to sit behind my head. Francis was over there eating with the uh, older kitties. I haven't seen anybody else. The wind is fierce out there today. And I just called a lady I talked to about getting on Medicaid last year. Uh, she doesn't know anything about it. And she gave me this number to call. And this is a lady I talked to. And she put it in. And December of last year, still nothing. Until I get back on Medicaid, which I'd rather be working full time at home so I can fix my car so I can do other things. This woman here put it in about the 19th of December last year. So I get back my $198 the government has because Iowa doesn't pay Medicaid Part 3, Medicare Part 3, anymore. So they take, and they're taking $198 a month from my Social Security, which I hate. Last December, they took 330 some bucks from my disability, or Social Security. I was making more money than I ever made. Last year, I made $11,800, which is more money than I've ever made. Because I was hit by a 93-year-old retired attorney in August, a 208 after I had a final in culture diversity. Bounced off the road after I went through his windshield. Crippled my bike. Moved my left kneecap over. Smashed my right wrist to bits. And then, uh, to the goodness of their heart, um, the attorney that I hired, Edward Krug, was making the transition, came to my, my court stuff, more feminine than I have ever been in my entire life. Made me sign a piece of paper saying that I would never have any more pain and never try to get more money from the ass who wouldn't give me anything, who didn't even get a ticket in my hometown. Lynn Morrow is now dead. I had nothing to do with it. He died of old age, but he drove until he died. It took him hitting cars three more times after he hit me in a crosswalk to lose his license. It took me seven years to get MIR to show I have TBIs. I just was given this. Where that's a, a slash, that's a slash on the side. It's not actually laying flat. This is how you contact online so you could put in the paperwork that'll take you three more months. I get $800 a month to live on right now. $800. Some people make $800 a week. They won't take my platelets because I had two small strokes found when they did an MIR. I have no idea when I had a stroke. I've been giving platelets for years. They stopped taking my platelets because they said I could have a stroke and die. She never told them. So now I have to fill this out again and wait three months. I'm training customer service add-on sales. Cash handling, crew monitoring. I walk with a cane. 
I need to work at home so I don't have to be on stupid ass social security and have to play games to get insurance so that I don't have to worry about if I have breathing issues. I have burned lungs. I died twice in 214 in December. I don't want a handout. I want to work. But if I have to have drugs or whatever to heal or to not heal but to help me breathe, I need this stupid thing. Do you know that if you have Medicaid, when you die, they come in and confiscate whatever you have of value. And there is no free ride. But I want that $198 back. That means the ability to buy food and to live. Because in J July of this year, I lose the insurance I'm on now. That gives me $216 a month for food.